Hmm. Are you here to become a fishing master? <laughs> the ocean is not easily tamed. And neither are the fish. Fishing is a challenge between nature and yourself. First, to get a good start, you need to learn how to handle the boat and gear properly. They're the tools of the trade. Let's try that small boat over there. Well, that was easy but still a success. You'll learn to steer boats in no time. Next, let's see what gear you should bring with you. Press P on your keyboard. Here on the left side of this window, you can see your boat, rod, reel, line and bait. This equipment is the bare minimum you should bring on any fishing trip. A rod with high damage can reduce a fish's stamina faster, and a reel with fast winding speed will help you manage tension better. A longer line won't break as easily if a fish tries to pull away. In addition, the more solid the line, the more stable your tension will be. I'll let you know more about tension later. Finally, let's decide what kind of fish you're going to go after. In the top right corner, you'll find a fish guide that will help you select which bait to use. I will now teach you the most important basic fishing techniques. First, you need to throw your bait and float in the water. This is called casting. Keep in mind that you cannot cast while your boat is moving. Find a good fishing spot, stop your boat, then try casting. Clicking the cast button will make a cursor appear on the surface. Move this cursor where you want to fish and click the left mouse button to cast.
Nice cast. You're getting the hang of it. And here's a little tip. You can use underwater cameras to see underwater. This will allow you to see which fish comes and bites beforehand, which can prove useful if you're looking for a specific species. Oh, you got a bite already, but don't panic. When a fish bites, move your mouth quickly in any direction to plant your hook in the fish's mouth. This technique is called hooking. When a fish bites your hook, the float will start moving. Different fish will make it move in different patterns, but the best time to perform a successful hooking is when the float sinks underwater entirely. A well-timed hooking will reduce the fish's stamina further. Remember this well. Let's try it out. Oh, good. Are you sure this is your first time? <laughs> now, you have to wrestle with the fish. This is called fighting. During the fighting phase, you will reduce the fish's stamina to tire it out and finally catch it. Here are some tips for the fighting phase. You should be aware of three things. See these gauges at the top? The first gauge shows the total length of the line and which part is reeled out. When the line is reeled out completely, the fish will be able to break it and swim away. You gotta be careful. The second gig shows the fish's stamina you need to deplete it to zero to catch the fish. A gray gauge indicates a very weak fish. A green gauge is for weak fish. Yellow is for common fish. Orange is for pretty strong fish. And red gauge is for very strong fish. The third gauge displays how tight the line is. It's called the tension gauge. When the tension gauge fills up completely for too long, the line will break. By holding the left mouse button to reel in the line, you increase its tension. You can also release the mouse to reel out or move the boat closer to the fish to reduce tension. Higher tension will tire out the fish faster, but your line may also break more easily. High risk, high reward. Keep these tips in mind and don't bite off more than you can chew. With these tips, Fighting should be easy for you. Click and hold the left mouse button to reel in and deplete the fish's stamina. Hold and release the left mouse button to increase or decrease tension or move the boat closer to the fish to prevent the line from breaking. Let's give fighting a try now. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. It's a technique called swinging.
When you reel in and tense your lineup, you can try to damage the fish further by moving your mouse while still holding the left mouse button. However, swinging will cost you stamina. If your stamina is too low, you won't be able to swing. Let's try swinging to catch this fish. Good job! That's a beautiful red zebra. As a conclusion, I will tell you a couple of things that are easily overlooked. Don't forget to check your boat's fuel gauge. If your boat runs out of fuel, your speed will sharply decrease. Here, let's get you some fuel. Now fill her up. You should also know about recovering stamina. You can't swing with low stamina. Here, drink this restorative beverage. Bottoms up, laddie. Everything I've taught you today is only basic stuff. Only by going out to sea and fighting fish for yourself will you hone your skills and become more experienced over time. Whenever you need help, don't hesitate to click the help button to get more detailed info. Here you can find a lot of useful tips and info. Be sure to check this out before actually playing. Now, are you ready to test your skills and challenge the wild ocean? How about selecting free mode in the menu and visiting Asia One's Young Hien Do area for your first fishing trip? I'm certain our paths will cross again. Good luck. Oh, by the way, if you want to sell the fish you've caught, open the live well menu. <laughs> 